Full time, Southampton 2, Arsenal 1. Uh, I wasn't there, I was at home. I'm wearing a hat because it is actually that cold in London, believe it or not. Um, yeah, another defeat to our direct rivals for fourth. But I can't say it was too surprising. For the moment the team lineups came in, it didn't look great. Um, no midfield to speak of, really. Francis Coquelin and Callum Chambers played in the holding midfield roles. They're both well down the pecking order in those positions. And no, no real strikers, to be honest. Danny Welbeck didn't make it. Lucas Podolski, Andy Ayosinogo injured too. So Alexis Sanchez played on his own up top with uh, Oxlade Chamberlain and Rosicki either side. So we lacked a lot of presence going forward. And for Southampton, it was a relatively comfortable win. 2 0. They hit the post twice, had one cleared off the line. The margin of victory could have been greater. At the other end, uh, Forster made one very good save from Sanchez. Uh, maybe they could have, should have had a man sent off in the last 20 minutes which might have changed the game but we didn't create too much clear cut opportunity really um, the one area of the field where we had all our first choice players available was at the back we had first choice back four playing and the goalkeeper obviously we've waited for that all season hoping it would end our defensive problems but that did not prove to be the case some big areas today particularly Wojciech Szczesny on the first goal, tore off his line. No idea where he's going. It was a full-on Manuel Almunia impression, really. And unfortunately, Mane produced a, a pretty impressive Canu impression to score from the tight angle. Uh, but I thought Lanka Shelney didn't cover himself in glory on that goal. On the second one, Debushi didn't get the ball clear, stabbed it back towards the keeper, and then he inexplicably poked it straight to Tadic, who tucked it away. Um, yeah, disappointing. Still problems at the back. It's really clear for watching this that Arsenal need to buy a centre-half in January and they need to buy a central midfielder too. Will they go and do that? Remains to be seen. Uh, all in all, though, I have to say, six points from nine over Christmas is more than I was expecting. That win at West Ham, especially in the light of today's performances, looks increasingly like a, a real Christmas miracle. I did not see us getting anything there. I thought maybe we could get a win in the first game against QPR and we might have got nothing else. So I'll take the six points and run. Obviously, it is a blow to lose today because it you know, it kind of pulls the rug out from underneath our, our momentum. But I think now it's about getting the players who are injured back. Um, Olivier Giroud's suspension, that cost us today as well with Welbeck being out. But also about doing the chance for business that's clearly needed uh, and I think the other thing that we learn is that personnel won't fix everything you know if you've got a situation where the best defenders are in place the best goalkeepers in place but stupid mistakes are being made strange decisions then I do think you do have to look at the coaching um, so there we are we are firmly in the battle for fourth uh, 2015 is underway and it's, it's much of the same, really. But uh, Happy New Year, and I'll speak to you after the next game.